I saw that there were a lot of CBD products on the market um, and that they're not regulated at all and most of them are not FDA approved and so I wanted to kind of dig a little deeper into what they're putting in these products. What I'm looking at is CBD and I'm trying to see at what rate does it convert to THC because it's possible since they're organic compounds and they all move around and it, nothing is stationary. You ingest CBD in an oil form, you could take it in a pill, um, but what does that really turn into um, once you actually add it into an acidic environment like your stomach? So that's what I'm testing. Um, I'm trying to figure out a rate of which that occurs. Are the percentages of everything true? And so I initially started this project to kind of figure that out. I'm a chemist during the day and biologist at night. When I go into the tissue culture lab on the chemistry floor, I'm pretty much taking CBD and I'm trying to see the effects of it on cells because at the end of the day, we want to know how this works on humans. So that's the closest thing that we can get is doing cell testing. So I'm applying CBD to wounds that I've made on cells and I'm trying to see if it actually helps close the wound. I work with Dr. Bhattacharya and Dr. Radwan in the chemistry and physics department. Um, and I also have two students that work with me and shadow me. I think that Simmons is really great for research opportunities since we're a small institution. I don't think that most people will get an opportunity to be able to come up with their own project and just have a professor be like, okay, let's do it. And I just find that really like a great thing about Simmons.